Hi, my name's Tom from Family Marine, and uh, today I'm here to talk about a pontoon trailer. Now, this is a pretty massive pontoon trailer. If you're in the market for, uh, say, a 25, 26 foot pontoon, triple tune, 300, 350, 400 horsepower motor, and you're looking for a trailer, by God, this is an amazing trailer. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go through this trailer and show you what it's all about. And um, again, if, if you're looking at a real heavy pontoon, this is the trailer for you. Um, so starting out with one of the most important things about a pontoon trailer is the chassis. So in other words, the chassis is the frame, okay? So if you'll take a look at this frame, you'll notice that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cross members going all the way from the left side to the right side. Now, a lot of pontoon trailers this size might have two. Three is probably more common. You might see a trailer with four. We've got seven. Now, the other thing about this trailer is you'll notice that the tongue goes all the way from the front of the trailer to all the way to the back of the trailer. Okay, so all the cross members are welded to the tongue and of course welded to the frame. So the amount of rigidity that that gives you in the frame of the trailer is huge. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely huge. So here's what we find out is with some of the lighter weight trailers, what happens is as you're going down the highway, the frames are twisting, the frames are flexing, the boats are bouncing. I mean, you're going down the road and you're kind of steering like this, you know, and you're fighting that trailer because it's flexing so much. Let me clue you, this trailer will not flex. Oh my gosh, it is so rigid that what ends up happening is as you're going down the road, it's like that. My gosh, it's just amazing that this trailer can trailer so easy with a great big 25, 26 foot pontoon behind you that's very heavy. It's just mind boggling. I've pulled many boats on this size trailer and I'll it, it, it's, it's just mind-boggling the benefits that this heavy-duty trailer can do for you. Um, you'll also notice that we have the center load guide, or excuse me, the center uh, bunk support for the Tritune. We also have horizontal load guides. Now, some trailers come with what we call post-style load guides, which is a post here, one there, and then two in the back. I'm not a real fan of those, and here's why. Especially with a big pontoon like this, you're going to have to drop back this thing into the launching ramp so deep that the rear load guides on a post style are totally submerged in the lake. They really don't do any guiding at all because they're too deep in the water. All right, so only the front two do the guiding. So it's very easy to get the back of the pontoon swinging in the wind or the current, right? So with these horizontal load guides, really all you got to do excuse me, if this is your load guides and these are your pontoons, is you drive the boat onto the trailer and the load guides start guiding the boat onto the trailer as you power it up onto the trailer. It's very, very easy. You can't get it on crooked with these horizontal load guides. Now, getting back to the suspension of this trailer, one of the big features of this is it has leaf, excuse me, um, torsion axles, not leaf springs. So often we see leaf springs in a big trailer like this, but no, this has torsion axles. These are 3,600 pound capacity axles. So 3,600 times two is 7,200, excuse me, 6,400. 6,400 pound axles. And then the tires are 1,632 pounds a piece. So we have plenty of capacity with this trailer. Trailer manufacturer tells us, yeah, this thing will carry 7,000 pounds easy. Yeah, with the type of frame that it has, I can believe that. Also, this trailer has all LED lights. So one of the nice things about LED lights is you don't have to disconnect your wiring harness from your vehicle before you back the trailer into the water. Of course, it's powder coated paint, electric brakes. There's four wheel disc brakes on this trailer. And as we move up towards the front, 
you'll notice this big heavy duty tongue jack my brother-in-laws have one of these on their farm equipment this thing is massive it's really kind of a nice jack you can crank it up and down there's you can pull the pin down there to slide the pedal up it's a very heavy duty tongue jack Of course, we got the big steps going up the front of the trailer, so it makes it easy to, uh, to climb on board the boat while the boat's on the trailer. Okay, so uh, this happens to be the boat that's going on the trailer that we just showed you. This is a 25-foot Barletta L25UC with a 300-horse Mercury V8 on it. It's a triple tune, of course. Now, this gentleman that bought this boat is going to the state of Washington. So he's gonna be trailering at half a continent away, right? It's a pretty long drive from Minnesota to the state of Washington. So how important is that trailer? Obviously for him, it's critical because he wants to be safe. He wants to be able to smoothly and easily trailer this pontoon out to Washington. So having a big heavy duty trailer like that is pretty critical for him. Now, let's think about this for a second. If the strength of the chassis of the trailer for a big heavy pontoon like this is critical for trailering, don't you think that the strength of the chassis on the pontoon is also quite critical? So when you're out pounding on the heavy seas that the boat's not twisting and flexing and bouncing all over the place? Of course it is. So to give you an example, what Barletta does, you can see a drawing of their chassis. I'm here to tell you, nobody in the industry builds the heavy duty chassis like Barletta does. And because their chassis is so strong, the benefits to you is that you get a more a comfortable ride, a smoother ride. It doesn't vibrate, it doesn't rattle, okay? And that's all due to what we call double I-beam construction. Many of these cross members in this boat are what we call double I-beam construction. So this is a saddle bracket right here that sits on top of the tube. There's one on the outside of the tube. There's one on the inside of the tube. And then this is the cross member that goes from the one side to the other. So this is an eight foot piece of aluminum, right? And there's multiple double I-beams in the, in the uh, L-Class and the uh, rest of the, of the uh, Barletta's. So uh, what happens is this has so much strength, so much rigidity that you don't get twisting and flexings in the cross members, all right? That's what helps with the ride comfort. On top of that, in between the cross member and the saddle bracket is what's called a vibration isolation pad. This is a rubber pad that goes in between the two to reduce the amount of vibration that you're getting from the engine or from the rough seas being transferred from the tubes into the deck and into you. So you get a vibration-free ride with these Barlettas. That VIP, vibration isolation pad, coupled with that double I-beam construction, is just absolutely massively powerful. If you've ever been in a large pontoon that has the normal sea channel, what I mean by sea channel is it's just a shaped like a C, all right? And although they use as many as what a Barletta does, you won't see, you won't feel the ride comfort that you'll get out of a Barletta. You're gonna get more vibration, you're gonna feel more twisting and flexing. What people say about the Barlettas is they're just rock solid. Customers of ours that have had other brands of boats in this caliber have all come back and said these Barlettas are just absolutely phenomenal the feel, the ride. It's so much different than any of the other pontoons that they've had in the past. So that's it for um, trailer construction and or chassis construction on a Barletta pontoon. If you have any questions, I hope you can give us a call at Family Marine. Our phone number is area code 320-222-2628. Or you can see us on the web at www.familymarineboats.com. Or even better yet, uh, go to our YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube and the search bar up on top, you type in Family Marine Wilmer, that's W-I-L-L-M-A-R, 
and then you'll see our icon and you'll click on our icon and you'll see our YouTube channel and there's multiple, oh my gosh, there's 100 plus videos on pontoon boats on our YouTube channel. So thanks very much for watching and appreciate it.